I'm going to open up the one up bike rack. In this video, we're going to be installing the one up vertical bike mount to the Sherpa, which I've already installed on the back of the van. We've got everything ready here the rack itself, I've got hardware, one bolt for a top position, one bolt for a lower position with a 14 millimeter socket wrench, and then I've got the vertical strap using a four and a half millimeter Allen wrench and a 13 millimeter socket wrench, and that'll install that, and there's hardware also at the top and then there will be a strap. It'd be pretty easy to get this on there. The hardest part is probably going to be just aligning it on the rack. Where's it gonna go? Um, to the farthest outside, inside, next to each other, up, down. We gotta have handlebars clear and things like that. We will be having two Sherpas, passenger and driver, so a total of four bikes. What I'm gonna do first off is just see what this rack is gonna look like with a bike on there so I can figure out about where it's gonna go. I'm gonna grab the biggest bike I have, which is my bike, 29 inch, specialized stunt jumper at the SAR. So I'm gonna fuck what will be the lower wheel first, and then I've got the upper, and then I'll lock this in there. I want to make sure that my departure angle is as good as it can be for the vehicle. Uh, we had a receiver hitch on before, and it was pretty good. Being a four by four sprinter, things set up a little bit higher. And then secondly, I want to just see what it's going to look like with the handlebar, make sure that the handlebar is not going to be like sticking way out on the side. So this is going to look a little silly, but now I'm going to lift the whole bike in the bike rack up. Lift this up and just kind of get a visual of where things are going to go. That looks good. The way that the one-up system works is it's got a slot in the back and in that slot we will drop the button head that has the square edge to it inside of there. And I'm gonna get my wrench with a 14 millimeter socket on there. And you could put this out uh, on two ways. You could have the, the release mechanism on the inside or on the outside. I'm gonna do mine on the outside for this one. And then on the inner bike rack, I'm gonna do it on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my other bolt in. So I'm gonna put it in that first slot there. And then slot there. Got my grease, I'm gonna add some grease to those threads. And then I need to put my washer, and then I'm gonna do my nylock nut. Okay, so now I need to get my socket, and we're gonna start tightening these up. I wanna make sure that this is vertical and not tilting, since I am using the slots versus the holes on there. That looks good. I'm gonna get a open end wrench. All right, just verifying that we're looking perpendicular to the ground on there. I probably could even put a level if I was that key. And to be honest with you, I am. It's pretty good. I'm actually gonna bring in the upper just a tad. Check again. Voila. Now the question is, what's the torque spec on that? Tight. So let's try a bike. Drop the lower wheel in, relax so, and then I'm gonna reach up here. Lock that beast in there. Groovy. So I think that's gonna be position number one. All right, now we need to install the second one on there. To do that, I think I'm gonna leave this bike in here for now. Let's grab bike number two. So I'm gonna do this second one with an adult bike just so I can see where things are going to fit on here. And then once we get the second Sherpa, then we'll be able to move that around. So I have the adult bike on the outside, two kids bikes on the inside. Now let's test out the bike before we put the vertical strap on. Pretty solid. I love that it's mounted full on the plate. Um, but like I said, we're gonna have kids bikes on the inside and this adult bike's gonna be moved to the outside when we have the other Sherpa installed. So I think that's gonna be awesome. All right, now I'm gonna take the bikes off. So I'm gonna release the red and then push up on this. You can see that strap is doing a great job of holding it. Now I can hold the bike, grab this velcro strap, release that. And then I'm gonna lift the bike out of here. like that. Not too pretty for my first time. Go ahead and take the second bike out. There we 
go. Hold the bike in. Grab the fork. Lift the bike right out of it. Work a little bit better. Okay, now I've got the vertical strap and the hardware, which is two bolts, two washers, two nuts. Uh, the strap itself has this part that has this uh, like 45 degree angle to it. That one is going to go on the Sherpa itself. I'm going to put that one down on the bottom rack. Let's go ahead and start putting this hardware in. I'm going to take my bolt. I'm going to go through the rack and then put the flat edge on there. Then I got a washer, a little bit of grease on the threads, and I lock nut. Both these are going to be on the inside. Okay, I'm going to grab my second set of hardware. I'm going to put the bolt going through to the back side, and then that way uh, the nut will be on the back side with the washer on that one. Set up the second one, the bolt through here, washer, grease on the threads, and I lock nut. 13 mil for the nut and four and a half. All right, I'm gonna show you this folded up, and then we'll put the bikes on it. Okay, now let's install some bikes on here. Step one. So I'm going to put my bike in first. 2017 Specialized Stump Jumper Pro. Second bike, 2021 Specialized Epic Expert Evo. Make sure the pedals aren't going to be dinging up on anything. I'm stoked. Alvans, one up.